The following contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match. On the way to the ring, from Japan, Sexy Girl. And the opponent, from Nesca Hoeing, Pennsylvania, weighing 300 pounds, Gene Snitsky. And welcome to a sold-out show from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside. And now we've got a show for you tonight. Hey, Cole, we're in the desert. This is nuts. Every SmackDown show is bigger and better than the ones that came before. And tonight's going to be bigger than all of them. That's a bold statement, partner, but I can't disagree. I don't think Phoenix has any idea what they're in for tonight. You're not gonna see action like this anywhere except SmackDown, Cole. You'll get an argument for me, Taz. SmackDown is the dominant brand in all of sports entertainment. That's 30 pounds of ladder versus a human body. And guess which one wins? Conditioning is a huge factor in any match. If you can't go the distance, there ain't no way you're gonna win. That's for sure, Taz. And the WWE superstars are some of the best conditioned athletes in the world. This could be a finishing move right here. What a jerk. How about a little less posing and a little more action? Pump the brakes, girl pants. There's nothing wrong with getting inside your opponent's head like this. This guy's doing some serious damage with that table, and it's not even set up yet. Look at this. Could it be? You're damn right it is, Cole. And that's a heck of a finisher right there. Man, I'm telling you, from my in-ring experience, trust me, you could cut this tension with a knife. I don't think you need in-ring experience to feel the tenacity radiating off these superstars, Taz. I don't think anything could be more obvious. Spoken like a guy who's never been in there, Cole. Trust me, when it comes down to you or them, it's a whole different level of intensity. I'll have to take your word for it, Taz. I honestly can't imagine a more electric atmosphere than the one in this arena right now. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. And injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponent make an easy pick. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings, no matter how beaten up. Here it comes, look out! Oh, man. Many of superstars fall and prey to that finishing maneuver. I love it! Talk about rubbing your opponent's face in it. Yes, but this might not be the smartest course of action. This match is far from over. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than compete fairly. This one could still go either way, Cole. It sure could. It's not all. Hey, Cole, let me tell you from experience. Getting hit with a table, not fun. I'll tell you 
tell you, as long as these superstars have got anything left in the tank, they'll just keep going. They certainly don't look like they're going to give anything less than 100% here tonight. Man, there's one thing I learned from ECW back in the day, is that tables are always bad news. Period. There's the reversal call. gonna win this match, Cole. I wouldn't be so sure, Taz. If there's one thing we've seen, it's that anything can happen here in the WWE. The conditions are right for a finishing move. Smokes, Cole! That table's in a million pieces! Oh my god, I think the referee's out, Taz. I'll tell you, they gotta start getting sturdy at refs, Cole. This kind of thing seems to happen all the time. I gotta tell you, Cole. I thought I had this thing figured out, but now I got no idea how this is gonna end up. Neither do I, Taz. And I think it's that unpredictability that makes it so exciting. No doubt, Cole. I've seen superstars get a huge advantage over their opponents and still lose the match because they got sloppy. Look at this, Cole. Look at this. Oh my God. There's a reason that's called the finishing move. The match usually doesn't go much longer. I knew it was only a matter of time before we saw that. I don't like it, but as long as it wins matches, it's going to keep happening. That's the bottom line, Cole. If you're not doing everything you can to win, then you're in the wrong game. We've seen an excellent match so far, and it's not over yet. Not by a long shot, Cole. And that's a good thing. I don't think we could ever get sick of watching these superstars go at it. Me neither, partner. This one's got rematch written all over it. Will we see a finishing move right here? This one's gonna keep on going until someone can't go anymore. And considering the conditioning of these athletes, that could be quite a while from now. These superstars give everything they got when they're in a match like this. But a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes also. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. Folks, you got to realize to make it in the WWE, this is not a job. This is a lifestyle. That's why you see so much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's something you won't see anywhere else. With all due respect to every athlete and entertainer out there, no one gives as much of themselves to their fans as the WWE superstars. When you see this level of competition, Cole, there is no doubt that SmackDown's just head and shoulders better than Raw. I couldn't agree more, Taz. Raw has some incredible superstars, no question about it. But they just can't compete with SmackDown's finest. Come on, Cole. I know you're just trying to be diplomatic, but you can't seriously sit there and say that there's anyone on a Raw roster you'd want to have here on SmackDown. No, I'm 100% serious, Taz. Can you imagine having Triple H or Batista or Chris Jericho on Friday nights? That could take SmackDown to the next level.
I wonder if we're gonna see anything this good on Raw next Monday, Cole. Come on, Taz. I think we both know the answer to that one. Sticks around long after taking a break like right that. This could be three right here. One, two, three. Well, listen to that. The referee's calling for the bell. The match is over. Well, that's a three Here's count. Your winner. That's all she wrote. That certainly was a decisive Gene. victory. Snitch and Gene. fall left no room for ambiguity. Nope. You let your shoulders stay down on a map for free, you lose. That's it. That's simple.